Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Playing With Myself. In today's video I'm going to be taking a look at a game called Teleglitch. Well, I'm technically going to be taking a look at the demo because I haven't actually bought the game yet. But uh, from what I've played so far, I'll probably end up doing that because it's actually really good. A big surprise I know. I'm going to be looking at a game that I really like. But this one actually I think warrants looking at enough that I would play the demo just to show it off. So we're just going to start out on level 1, because it's the only thing we can do. I'm going to kind of skip over this stuff. Uh, you can pause it there if you want to if you want to read it. But I'm going to move past it. So, as you can see, it's a top-down... I guess you could say twin-stick shooter. I'm using the mouse to look around, though. WASD to move. And I also apologize in advance if you can hear the, the keys clacking and the mouse clicking. Because I did get a new microphone, and hopefully you can tell that right off the bat. And uh, it, it's very sensitive, so I got kind of tired of the old one. I was having some issues with it. It was a headset microphone. So I figured I'd get a USB one, dropped uh, about 40, 40 bucks on it, which is pretty good. And uh, I'm very satisfied with it. So we're going to keep moving, but again, I apologize because it is very sensitive. So you probably hear those key, key, you can probably hear those keys in the background. Oh, got a little mush mouth there. So I've got my inventory on the left side. I have only 60 bullets, which seems kind of like a lot, but ammo is pretty scarce in this game. It, it definitely takes some some of its uh, inspiration from survival horror games in the sense that ammo is hard to come by. And your character is not necessarily fragile, but it is pretty easy to get overwhelmed in this game. I can mean, hit tab to pull up a map so I can kind of see where I'm going. Um, but I do like this game a lot. Visually, it's very minimalist, as you can see. It's pixel based and kind of sparse but uh this game has it has a real a real, um, a real good sense of tension to it like i felt very uh oh, there's another thing here they're little terminals that you can get some story on but uh, i felt very uh very panicked i guess while playing this game in some areas because it's really easy to get overwhelmed so we're gonna move through the environment hopefully you can get some combat i can hit my, uh, I click the right mouse button to aim and the left to shoot. Pretty basic controls, actually. Oh, here are some enemies. Oh, damn it. Come on. Get away, get away from me. No. Oh, I'm doing awful. Those are terrible shots. Um, on the whole, the, the aiming does feel pretty good. You can be super accurate. It actually reminds me a lot of, uh, weirdly enough, Hotline Miami. Even though these two game games, uh, Design-wise, couldn't be farther apart, I guess. Considering that this is kind of roguelike-ish, and that there's permadeath and uh, trying to get to different levels, I guess, or different sections of the game. I think there's like ten of them in total. Obviously, we'll only be taking a look at the first one since uh, that's all that's in the demo, I believe. Maybe the third one is too. So I think my main objective here is I have to get to a, uh, a teleporter and get the hell out of here, which is a pretty good idea considering that basically everything I'm going to run into is going to want to murder me. Oh, well, this is an enemy that I haven't faced yet. I don't like him one bit. Get away from me. Get, get away from me. No. One thing I will say about the shooting is that uh, it's pretty easy to miss. Like there, I, it would have seemed like, a, god damn it. It would have seemed like I might have hit him. You kind of got to be aiming really precisely. This can be incredibly hard to do. Oh, there's another guy that joined the fairy. Fantastic. It can be uh, incredibly hard to do when you're in these tense situations. I'm just, I look like an idiot. Come on. This guy is tough, man. Oh, Jesus. I'm already down to 80 health and 32 bullets. Doing math on the fly here. I was pretty impressed with myself that I didn't mess that up. So, that was pretty much the first taste right there of how kind of tense this game can get because it is permadeath oh i can find a uh, a chest i guess it's not really a chest it's not what they call it in this game the rdx that i have here on the left side those are bombs got to be careful with those because i can actually blow myself up and i definitely have in some previous playthroughs but i haven't actually played this game too much so i have some more some more story i haven't played this game too much though i hope that explains away why i'm i'm not doing so well and missing most of my shots there we go, that was a good one. And uh, the game has a tendency to open up in these wide areas, which can both be good and bad. It's actually 
a good idea to kind of get these guys in a narrow corridor because it becomes much easier to uh, aim at them because you're limiting their mobility. But at the same time, you're limiting yours. But these open areas can be pretty dangerous if you get surrounded. So let's do some more exploring. That's a dead end. Let's pull up our map here real quick and see what we're looking at. So I've never actually beat the first level in the, uh, the probably, I want to say like 30 minutes total that I've been playing this game. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. These guys are... There we go. I thought that was one of the tougher enemies. So that stuff right there, if I touch that, I'll die immediately. Found that out the hard way in one of my run-throughs. But it can kind of get easy in this game to get turned around. Uh, the map's okay. It's, I guess, you could say adequate, but it doesn't do a very good job of uh, letting you know what to do, which I suppose is the point, because uh, this game is largely exploration-based. But I'm just going to keep trying not to die here. I did find some more ammo from that, uh, that crate. So that's good. I'm just squandering it now though. As I am wont to do. Oh Jesus. Oh, sweet, sweet Jesus. No. Oh, I didn't go down in one hit. There we go. Some of these enemies will, will go down in one hit, one well placed shot. Others, as we saw earlier, take quite a few more bullets. Just bullet sponges some of these guys. Oh, that was a good shot, but I'm wasting it. So I'm going to try and get these guys into a, a tighter space. Make them easier to aim at if I can hit anything. That'd be fantastic. Oh, jeez. Come on. Oh, man, this is terrible. Keep moving, keep moving, man. Pixel buddy. There we go. This is definitely a game that benefits from lightning fast reflexes, which is probably explaining why I am uh, doing so poorly. I was always the last kid to get picked in gym, sadly. Sadly enough. It's another terminal, I believe. I want to check, make sure it's on a chest. Oh, the storage cabinets are marked on our map, which is extremely beneficial to us. That's an enemy. I'm going to try and not die here. Oh, it took some damage. I'm already down to 57 health. This guy's just soaking it up. What is up with that? So, a few things before I, uh, I go on a, a praise torrent, or I suppose I probably already have. But a few things that I actually don't so much like about this game, and they're, they're minor, but sometimes it can be hard to discern what you're looking at because of the way that the art style is. Obviously very pixelated, very blurry. Um, sometimes you can't tell if you're looking at a, a crate or a chest or whatever, an item box. So the enemies are hard to discern from one another. Like that guy, I felt like, oh, he's just another enemy. I'll take one shot, two shots. It took about five, which is unfortunate. Not that it matters, because once you're engaged in combat, there's pretty much no getting away. I'm gonna stay open up. But something that I do really appreciate appreciate about this game visually is when you fire your gun, it gives that neat little like screen tearing effect, or a, there's a red, blues, and greens like a screen distortion. I guess it looks very cool. It's a, a very neat stylistic choice, and one that I appreciate immensely because it gives this game a little bit of flair. So I think we have to go. Oh, we can go back that way. There's a, a crate down there. Let's, let's go check it out. There's a lot of this in this game. There's a lot of, of going back to something because you maybe missed it or something like that. Or maybe if you're smarter than me, you didn't. But like I said before, sometimes it can be hard to tell what's in the environment, what you're looking at. Also, appreciate the shadows. Like the That's pretty neat. It's a pretty neat nice, uh, design choice. I'm going to try and take this guy out with a couple shots. Come on. Oh. Jeez, I'm out of ammo, so I can punch. I think it, I'm actually stabbing, but it's not the wisest decision because you don't last very long about, against these guys in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Come on, come on. Fist of Fury. Let's get some canned meat, which will uh, refill our health. There's also a, a crafting system in this game, which I'll show off here. I can combine this nail box by hitting C with the RDX. But I, I believe I can. Oh, uh, maybe not. No, I don't think I can. I think I just split them apart on accident. Well, that's okay. I'm get another nail box. And that's a crate. Yep. Some more RDX, some med kits, which are invaluable, and some ammo. It's a pretty good haul. And uh, I really like this right here. This game's it's done this a couple times in some other run-throughs where 
you get in this kind of top-down perspective, but it looks 3D and the shadows are moving. That's cool. I'm trying not to make anyone sick, so I'm going to stop doing that. We're going to keep on going. All right. This could potentially be a bad situation for me. There we go. I'll just use that med kit right now. Yeah, up to 81 health, which is good. I can't remember if I mentioned this already, but... The video, the length of this video is basically going to be determined by how long I can last or if I finish the level. Finishing is pretty unlikely considering how poorly I'm playing, but who knows, anything's possible, right? So, let's keep going. I already got that thing, so I'm going to just keep going down. Maybe, maybe we'll find a teleporter. I certainly hope so. Let's kill this in effort. Oh, five shots, seriously? Like, come on, man. Game, tell me some slack here. Eat that can of meat. Let's get our pistol out, or hold three shots, which are going to be woefully inadequate in fighting most of these enemies. Uh, there's a pretty good variety of enemies, like, uh... Oh, hold on a second. Get a focus. It's a poor shot on my part. One shot left. Make it count. There we go. Um... Pretty good variety in enemies. I saw him in a different playthrough. Some guy was like, just a massive mutant guy. We saw earlier that they had some of the throws and stuff at me. I think, I think we're maybe in the right, heading in the right direction. I'm not entirely sure. This game is procedurally generated, so it's not like I would actually know for a fact. But I have seen a similar room to that in another playthrough. A, a similar area where there's that that. That black goo or whatever it is that kills you, and there's a terminal next to it that explains what it is. It apparently makes your brain explode, which is pretty gnarly, if you're asking me. That's cool. Imagine if anyone saw that, just some guy just running into a pool constantly. That would that'd look a little bit weird. Let's keep moving. No ammo, which is a, a poor show for me. I think I can... Yeah, here we go. So, combining the nail bomb... Er, er, I'm sorry. The nail box with the RDX gives us a nail bomb, we can get a can gun, an auto pistol, or a, a Panzerfaust, which honestly I think the nail bomb and the can gun to me are the most valuable that I use so far. We'll combine the uh, the pistol and the hardware to make an auto pistol that we have no ammo for anyway. But I'll get the can gun out because this thing is actually really cool. Let's see if I get an opportunity to, uh, to use it in a second. Oh, can me, can me everywhere. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Just eat it all up. Let's see. Item box, yep, yeah, we got some bullets. I don't know if they're actually full. Yeah. 15. Excellent. Ah, oh, okay, hold on. This gun can actually be kind of hard to control. It requires a lot of ammo to use properly. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to leave that guy be because I, I have no reason to fight him. I don't have to fight him, man. We can just be friends. Oh man, is this a teleporter? Did I make it? I don't know how to operate any of this machinery. I haven't been trained for this. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it is! Awesome. I can't believe that happened. The, apparently the situation is much worse than I expected, though. It seems like the non-human combatants have been let loose all over the facility and they are programmed to attack on sight. So, I'm not exactly sure what the enemies in here are. Right, there's some... Uh, if I probably pay attention more to the story, I'd know, but I guess they're either, there's like mutants or zombies, and there's also like robots, or maybe they're like cyborgs or something, or I have no idea, but they're tough as fuck, is all I know. So that playtime was about 12 minutes, which is a pretty good length. My accuracy has been the highest it's been so far, which is pretty poor because it's only 50%, which is failing. That's an F. Um,. Didn't find any secrets, unfortunately. Yeah, see, mutant zombies, mutant and giant zombie. But uh, yeah, that was a that was Teleglitch. That was a demo of Teleglitch, at least. It's a pretty cool game. I'm definitely gonna pick it up at some point. In fact, I think I might start doing a Let's Play series of it because I like it quite a bit, and uh, I feel like roguelikes really lend themselves to interesting Let's Plays because they're they're so random and there's so much opportunity for random chance and different things happen in every single video. But it's almost always kind of exciting to watch them. But thank you uh, for watching, and I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video.